Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving Jumping into Clouds, an interview prep question from HackerRank. Let's begin. Many of you have already liked and subscribed, but there's a number of you who haven't, so please subscribe. It's easy as one, two, and three. And you can also support my channel with some of the links down below. So you're playing a mobile game that you start jumping on consecutively numbered clouds. Um, some of them are dangerous, which are marked as one, and some of them are safe as marked as zero. And you want to determine the minimum number of jumps it takes to go from start to finish. So here, to give an example, um, you'll be usually given an array of cloud numbers, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And you start from the first index all the way to the last index, 0 to n minus 1. I'm going to go over a better example because it actually has a diagram. I don't have to make one, fortunately. So if we are given 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, this 0 right here, this 0 number cloud means you are on the first index, uh, second index, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh index right here. All the number 0 um, in JavaScript, you indexes start from 0. So that's why I mentioned it as follows. Can you jump two steps from 0? No, you can't because that is a dangerous cloud. So I just jump one step. Um, could I jump two steps from one? Yes, it's a safe cloud. But could I jump two steps from that? That is not a safe cloud. So I go right here, four. I could jump two steps to six. I'm done. And now I don't have to make any more jumps. And that took a total of four jumps. Some things to keep in mind. I'm going to go under the assumption that you are guaranteed to make it from the start to the end. And you can always make one jump or two jumps. None more, none less, and you always make it to the end. Doesn't seem like the problem indicates there will be an issue if you can't make it at the end. This will play a role in how I'll structure my code. Here's what we have to think about. First, we want to calculate the number of jumps. Let jumps is equal to zero, and we're going to return jumps later on. Second thing to keep account of, as you can see right here, um, these clouds are indexed from zero to five. So we always start from an index of zero, and we're going to go through the whole array of clouds. I'm going to do a fancy different way. Um, so here we, are, we know for sure that definitely we're going to jump through some clouds. So do means we're going to do this first step first and check if, it, if we reach the end or not. So we're going to perform an action. Then we loop again if necessary, if it doesn't fulfill the condition in this while loop, in this case, if the index is less than number of clouds minus one, because we're not, uh, the index doesn't start from one, it starts from zero. Um, therefore, that's why I subtract by one to make sure that the last index of that last cloud is the length of that whole array minus one. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Just look up indexing of arrays if that doesn't make any sense. And of course, we'll always be jumping in each time we we, we played the game. Each step, we, we take a bunch of jumps, increment each time. How do we increment it? Do we increment it by two, or do we incre increment it by one? Here's, now, the way I structured it, you could tell it's almost like an if and else statement. Is it A or B? To make it much more nicer to read, other than putting a big if block and if else block, I like to use something called a conditional ternary operator, which accomplishes the same. Um, you can look it up in Mozilla's website. Basically what it does is that it's an operator that it takes, it checks for a condition if it's true or false. In this case, ours is can it jump two steps or one steps ahead. And if it's true, it, before, of course, the question mark is the Boolean condition. But if it's true, it's going to be this first value before the colon. And if it's false, it's the first value after the colon. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Maybe it's better if I show you. With that new index, the condition that I'm checking is, can I jump two steps ahead um, to the next cloud? And it is a safe cloud. Zero is a safe number in this problem. Question mark. Now, if it's true, then I'm going to update that index to be plus two. Now, if it's false, I have to update that one by one jump because that's as far as it can get. All right, there you go. And you might be wondering, okay, so we make a bunch of jumps, but once it reaches the last cloud, how do I make sure that it doesn't overjump? Again, this while loop condition right here, oh, 
don't forget the semicolon. This while loop condition right here, make sure that you don't over jump past that index value. Um, you can feel free to run it through your head to make sure that if this scenario, um, if this your code snippet will, will pass this scenario, you definitely want to create more test cases when you're in an interview to show that you can cover all cases and have clean code and less problems. Let's run code and see what happens. Hey, all right, it passes. That's pretty Submit good. Code again. All right, to go over the performance um, of this code. It's going to be O of N because we're going to go through, I mean, worst case scenario, it's going to be O through N. We'll jump through each cloud. We'll jump through a bunch of clouds, like maybe N minus one times or N minus, maybe N minus two times, worst case scenario. I've got to think about that. Um, but space, um, space performance, I think it's O of one constant because we're not creating any data structures, actually. We're just indexing the value, um, restoring at least two variables or just two numbers not that too much values um, so therefore I think oh of, co of constant time that's oh constant space it's that's it all right guys I hope this helps you with your interviewing class or problems or school um, please like subscribe or support me via the below links in my YouTube video that would greatly help and motivate me to do more videos in the future you know if I don't see that like and subscribe, there won't be more videos. See you guys.